I was truly about to pour chicken broth in my coffee instead of oat milk. <laughs> oh my god. Happy Monday, welcome back to another week in my life in New York City. We have a jam-packed week. We're doing lots of fun things. I had the best start to the day, you guys. I tried out a Sculpt Society workout for the first time. The founder, Megan Roop, was here this morning. She's in New York this week, she lives in LA. Why does it sound like I'm losing my voice? <clears throat> and it was so fun. I was nervous because cardio, you know, but it was a good mix. We did like dance cardio in the beginning and then ended with cardio and in the middle it was like abs and butt and it was amazing. Like it was such a good sweat. It was not in a heated room because heated rooms make me nervous sometimes too. It was fabulous. I was like, you need to come here more. But she has someone who teaches Sculpt Society workouts here in the city that I'm going to join in on I think weekly because that was so much fun. It was a great like add to my workout routine. I've been loving trying out new classes and just putting myself out there. It was really nerve-wracking because I walk in it was like all the NYC fitness girlies and I was like, woo! But, you know, when like there's a whole room of people, you're, you're very motivated for sure. So, it was great. Went to the steam room at Equinox. was like trying to like scrub off my spray tan. Um, not actually, but like when I go to the steam room, I feel like it helps lift my spray tan off because I'm getting another one on Wednesday because we're going to Cabo on Thursday. You guys know I did the Cabo trip last year with my friends Margo, Brooke, Kenzie, and Katie. We are doing that again this year. Well, Kit came last year. She can't come this year, but yes. Um, and Margo Lee couldn't come this year either. She couldn't come last year, but yeah, that's the vibe. I'm so excited. It's going to be so magical. Like, I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. So that'll be that. And what else? Went to the dry bar, of course, and just did a little light makeup. I just put on some glow screen, a little blush today, too. Did my brows. Brooke is almost here. We're going to record an episode of Gals on the Go, which is my podcast that I have with her every Wednesday. And we also upload on YouTube, so go subscribe on YouTube if you want to watch us. We're filming on my couch. Um, we're doing an episode all in self-care, so by the time this vlog is up, it'll definitely be up. Going to a really cool movie screening tonight that I'll tell you guys about later. I'm bringing Delaney, which I'm really excited. So ever since she moved here, I'm like, I want to take you to these cool, event cool events because, like, she's always been so supportive, so I want to be able to bring her to these cool things. So, yeah, I'm wearing an OG Gals on the Go sweatshirt. We, like, need to bring this back because it was our most popular item ever. Um, on the go, New York, New York. And yeah, Brooke will be here soon. I was just starting to set up the podcast, but I realized I didn't say hi to you guys. So hi, welcome back to another week in my life vlog in New York City. Doing lots of fun stuff, like I said, this week. And um, subscribe down below, please, so I can gain some new subscribers. That'll be so fun for me. And that way you're notified every time I post a video. So go subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's continue on with the day. As some think his feature on the track, Coco Chanel doubles as a... Okay, but... Also, Usually targeted, but at the same time, started to give us crumbs recently. Not here for it. They don't think that this is a good couple. I think it's no. probably based on. Good show. Good show. Thanks. Wrapping up set. That's a wrap. Um, Take your lunch. Thank you, lunch. It reminds me. Wait, of did you see my my shelves? Oh. It's not like well, we're not done, but like we kind of. It doesn't do. look better. This is cute. Yeah. Thanks. I I'm, love this. I just bought that at a bode this week, and we like ran to a bode. Cute. Um and like. 
I don't know. I think it just looks a lot less messy. And I moved yes. the furniture that was right here. Really this like is my it. bar cart area. So to the moss balls. Oh, Thanks. I'm Thanks. We're still I just took all my makeup off and I got some work done. I just kept going because it's still light out. I will not shut up about daylight savings because I'm like, oh, it's probably like 4 o'clock. No, it's like nearing 6 o'clock and that's when I have to leave. So... Tonight, I'm taking Delaney to a movie screening for the movie Air. I believe it's about them creating the Nike Jordan Air shoes. Matt Damon's in it. Ben Affleck directs it. Maybe is also in it. Jason Bateman's in it. And someone else. Viola Davis. So, and probably other people, but I just didn't know their names. Um, so, really exciting. Matt Damon and Ben Affleck and Viola Davis are going to be there tonight, which is really exciting. Delaney is, like, a big Ben Affleck fan and just, like, movies in general. So, I was so excited when I told her that I got invited to this. So, it's not, like, a red carpet, but there is, like, a step and repeat, and there's, like, a little event after. And there's a QA and a with the cast, which is really cool. Like, she's gonna die. I'm so excited. But they told us that the attire is streetwear chic. And also, to wear, our, like, I have these Jordans but like what if no one else wears Jordans but also if there's a time to wear them I feel like it's now so I'm gonna see I think I have an outfit in mind they basically said streetwear chic so that could just take you a lot of places so I have this shirt I wore it like a month ago with metallic jeans and a blazer and it looked so good because this has like this little scoop under the boobs I love it so I'm thinking to do that same outfit but with black leather pants instead my new Abercrombie curve love ones so I'm going to put this on so I can do my makeup and like see where it hits on my neck to blend down. Um, but I'm thinking to do this with black leather pants and then my black leather jacket. I have it linked on my like to know it. Um, and then if it looks right, I will do the green Jordans and then my green bag, which would be really cute, I think. And hopefully goes with the vibes. Delaney's like really struggling. She's like, what does this mean? I was like, I'm so sorry, girlfriend. It is a little confusing. But I'm so excited. It's at Hudson Yards. It's like at the Warner Brothers um, like theater, I think it was called. So I just realized I need dinner before we go because um, we're like going to watch a movie. So I ordered Westville, which I love. If you are ever like needing a quick meal in New York, that's like they have so many options. Like sometimes I'll get the arugula salad, add chicken. Tonight I got the market plate, so I got chicken like a grilled chicken breast and you get two sides. It's not the market plate. It's called the grilled chicken. And I got it with broccoli and french fries because I needed some potato in there so I'm gonna do my makeup get dressed but yeah I'm excited to take you guys along with me for the night all right I just finished doing my makeup perfect timing my food came doesn't this just look so good like the lemon they give you I've never had these fries but anytime I see like a wedge fry like steak fries it's very nostalgic for me because I used to go get them at Publix when I was in like high school and I think this is like an aioli so I'm gonna take it here is the base the Curve Love jeans from Abercrombie. This top is from like an Instagram store, Manere de Bois. I actually, like I said, I have it linked on my like to know it under the outfit with the metallic pants. Oh yeah, she's happy with this. She's very happy with this. And then these shoes with the green bag, I just need to add some jewelry. So we'll add these gold earrings. I will take the clips out of my hair, obviously. I just find that I touch my hair lot like if I have my clips up I'm not getting like the oils of my hands and then with my new ring holder slash necklace holder I'll do my chain ring this is from Senia I love it oh wrong one I'll do this chain ring and then we'll do this on my oh Delaney's here Delaney's here I love our fits yeah, I, we her. attempted the streetwear chic I know, we're both twinning. I know, I like. we need to take a mirror pic. This is so cute. So yeah, we both went for the black moment. It seemed safe, and we did the sneakers per their request, so. Uh, the sneakers were fine with me. Are you excited for your, this is your first, like, movie so thing, excited. right? Not only that, but, like, my favorite actors, like, ever. Yeah, I know, this is pretty I'm crazy. So it's so Boston, you know? It is so, so Boston. Boston. Let's get it, girl. Get it. Guys, we just got here. We just took some photos. <laughs> So sick. There's some cool people here. <laughs> Delaney in the city. <laughs> all right, we got all of our sneaky snacks. We're here, ready to go. Um, lots of green.
and it was, uh, you know, it, it was the only time I had everybody there in a bunch of movies and, and produced and acted together for you know so many years and decades and um, so it didn't feel any different to to be working this way. It's just kind of a natural progression. I've gotten that question a lot. I keep thinking, should it have felt different? But it was exactly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I just got back. I literally cried during the movie and I feel like my makeup has been ruined. Um, that movie was incredible. It was moving, it was emotional, it was funny. So many amazing actors in it. And then the cast came and did like a very lengthy Q&A after, which was really appreciated. I thought it was really cool that they spent the time to like really answer everyone's questions and they were clearly very passionate about the film. It was so funny, like you guys have to go see the movie. It's also a really great movie to watch with your boyfriend or like your dad or like a male figure. Also women, but like I, the whole time I was like, Ryan would love this movie. It was so well done. I'm like obsessed. I'm, I was literally wearing my Nike Air Jordans. I'm glad I wore them. Other people totally dressed the same. So Dylan and I were really happy, but it was just, so moving, but during the movie, you're like, oh my gosh, I hope Jordan ends up going with Nike. And like, as I'm wearing the Nike Airs, like clearly he did, but like, you're just so in the movie. So it's gonna be in theaters April 5th. I'm not being paid to say this. They did offer me this opportunity to go to the, the screening, balancing you guys on my moss balls. But wow. Wow, wow, wow. It was so good. Delaney said the same thing. And Delaney is like a movie fanatic. Like she doesn't say, she doesn't like all movies she sees. And she's like, I want to go home and watch it again. And I was like, literally saying like, should we? So, and it was so special to bring her. Like she's such a movie fanatic. And as soon as we left, so after the Q and A, the cast stayed. Like they stayed and talked to people. And, but they, they were like having these meaningful conversations. And we were like, oh my gosh, I like don't know what to say to them. Like I'm starstruck. And we didn't want to just like ask for a selfie because these they're like deep men like you just tell they're very like we're talking to people Viola left pretty early but as she should she's an EGOT winner she has things to do but like Matt and Ben I'm talking about like they're my friends Matt and Ben um produced the show and the, or the movie and Ben also directed it so I feel like this is like their movie, so they're gonna stay and talk to people. But as soon as Ben was like walking out the door, Delaney realized what her in could have been to talk to him. Her mom randomly was his RA, his freshman year of college at UVM. Um, and then after his freshman year, he like went on to do acting and killing it in life. But she was his RA and she was like that. Literally your mom goes, she goes, oh my God, my mom just texted me to remind me that she was his RA, let's go. We look up, he's walking out. But it was all meant to be for a reason. It was also like a star-studded event. There was like none of like my influencer pals were there and I was like, I feel so special, but maybe some people couldn't go. I don't really know. I was very honored to be there. I think his name is Keegan-Michael Key. Like he's in so many movies. Dylan and I recognized him right away. He was there just casually like in the waiting room with us before going to the movie. Um, Heidi Gardner from SNL was there. Love her. Who else? Oh, Delaney was... Margaret Josephs from Housewives and Jay, Jay Emanuel maybe is his name from America's Next Top Model. Delaney's so good at being like, that's that person. Um, I'm trying to think of anyone else we saw. There were a couple other like celebs there and I was like, wow. Some like bachelor peoples. But yeah, that was really, really cool. And I was really honored to be there at one of those moments. I like love going to these movie things. And literally that movie just made me feel like I could do anything I wanted. It was just so cool. Like now I'm like, I want to get back into acting like that it was one of those movies where you're like i want to do a monologue right now like should i get into acting again like i did it when i was younger i had the headshots all the things but also it's more of an la thing but i do love a good play and new york is very broadway plays i don't know it just made me feel like i could do anything i wanted so i'm gonna facetime ryan now and tell him about this movie because i like this always happens to me when i go to these premieres because i'm just so inundated in the movie but for good reason, so I'm gonna change too because I'm like getting uncomfortable, but the outfit was perfect, the movie was amazing. I'll see you guys in the morning.
Hello everybody, we're heating up my coffee. I went to Pilates this morning, rewarded myself with Ralph's coffee, and then I literally went into Sephora for more Sunday Riley CEO Glow and left with way more. I have a haul on my TikTok if you guys wanna see like, you know, the products fully, but it's time to work. It's time to get stuff done. I'm really glad I got up and went to work out because I was feeling very sleepy and very unmotivated. So, I'm motivated now. The birds are chirping, it's a high of 60 today. We're good. I'm addicted to our Gals in the Go Brooklyn and Bundle, this robe I live in because it's towel material. So as soon as, I just showered. As soon as I get out of the shower, I can put it on because it's like a towel. It's amazing. Um, I just ordered Dig In, or Dig, whatever. Put my hair out of my face. We're gonna light some candles. I was going to, I was trying to go to the sauna today. That's why I like hadn't showered and was still in my workout outfit because oh, I have to cut the wicks. Me and my new era of cutting wicks, now I have to follow up with it. Um, I wanted to go to the sauna, that's why I like hadn't showered yet. And I was like, I just have like way more work than I thought and I don't wanna be stressed and running around town. So, it's all good. It's a blessing that I can even do the sauna on a Tuesday. But, and realistically, I like to do a sauna like right after I work out. And that wasn't gonna be the case because they didn't have any openings. So it just just wasn't meant to be. And this way I can play my Spotify deep focus playlist and deeply focus. Eat some lunch because I have a really busy day tomorrow. Um, and I have an event tonight and I have a wax at four. <laughs> All the Cabo prep. I need to figure out when I need when I'm gonna pack too. Like I should probably start packing today because tomorrow's so busy. But first, I'm gonna sit back down and get back to work, put on my blue light glasses. Oh, I need to put some moisturizer on. I also think I need to do one of those, it's one of those days where I need to prioritize the things on my to-do list because everything on there, I'm like, I have to get this all done and it really stresses me out. So if I think logically and I'm like, what needs to be done first, I'll like label one, two, three, and I get things done a little bit better and more efficiently. Tip. <laughs> this is literally one of my favorite meals in New York City. It comes so quick too on Uber Eats. Not nearly done with the work I have to do. I have just, I moved to the couch and I started working on the couch, but it's time to go to wax. <laughs> Reward myself with a wax. Should be really fun for Cabo. Um, here's my fit. It's so random. I just didn't feel like putting on a sweat set because it's 60 degrees out right now. So it'll be good to get outside. I think it'll freshen me up, but it's actually kind of cute. Like the brown and the jacket kind of ties in with my Uggs. All right, let's go be miserable. Actually, no, it's really good. My girl Patrice is amazing, and she's done in like 10 minutes, and I don't know how that happens. I'm all waxed up, baby, and I stopped by and got a few groceries just to get me through the next couple days. Um, nothing much. I have eggs in my fridge and other things. <laughs> eggs are a necessity. I have eggs and bread. Um, I needed more butter. Kerrygold butter is just my favorite. I put it in this little butter thing. I'm almost out, so love that because then it's soft and it's just so much better. Trying out this hummus. I love a red pepper hummus, but this is the one I usually get, but this one has really great ingredients, so I wanna try that. Half and half for my coffee. It just hits different when it's half and half, not like oat milk or something. I got another thing of this vanilla yogurt to make more overnight oats tonight so I can have in the morning. Um, I also have berries here. To put in the overnight oats, I really liked doing that last week. And then cucumbers, of course, which is what I dip into hummus. And then I got cantaloupe because I was really feeling it. And then tomorrow is going to be really busy, so I feel like it'll be nice if I have a frozen meal or fr refrigerator. I'm just going to keep it in the fridge because I'll probably eat this tomorrow for lunch or something. Um, this is the Amy's Bowls. I got these in college sometimes. But this one is brown rice with black-eyed peas, which I love, and veggies with a ginger sauce. So, I don't know. We're going to try it. That's my really random grocery haul.
been a fabulous hour or so. I cleaned, I did laundry. I have more laundry going that I will turn over before I leave, hopefully if I have time. Um, and my dishes, and we finally were able to launch. I know I've been talking about it so much in these vlogs, but we finally posted about it because like this whole time I've been vlogging about our Brooklyn and Bundle, we haven't posted about it. So very, very excited. The reaction is very positive and exciting, which I figured because we're so excited about it. Um, but I went to Sephora today, as I said, well, this is not new. They didn't have the bigger one. Like I didn't want to bet the small one because I'm just going to need another one very soon. We're getting ready. If you couldn't tell, um, Brooke and I got invited and other people, but I don't know who else who, like I asked my other friends and no one said anything, but we always end up going to these events and I'm like, Oh, I, I know you. Um, so you always see a friendly face. It's really nice. It's an intimate dinner with Saks at La Avenue, which I've always wanted to go to their restaurant. And it's their collaboration with Chill House, which is so funny. I was supposed to go to Chill House today to use the sauna. So I am a big Chill House fan. Um, this dress, I'll show you guys later when I'm standing up, but it's very like Chill House branding, I feel. So that's kind of why I wore it. My nose is itchy. <laughs> um... But yeah, I have I got some new products and I like want to use them, but I wanted to be leisurely. And I'm like, this is not leisurely, but I still really want to use them because I feel like there will be photos taken tonight. Brooke talked about this on the podcast. This is the Ilia Bright Start Activated Eye Cream. And she was like, I feel like you'll like this because it's I hate dipping my fingers into like a pot. Um, as I did for the lip balm, which I really don't enjoy doing because I feel like it gets under my fingernails. This feels really nice and cooling, and it seems to be a little tinted, which is nice. Um, so this is the Ilia Bright Eye, Bright Start Activated Eye Cream. So, Brooke's been loving it. Wow, it definitely did just brighten my under eyes. Where, like, I love the, um, Rare Beauty under eye brightener, but I guess it's sold out, and it's not really skincare. Like, I wouldn't put it on before bed, but Brooke made it seem she uses it before bed. I'm so sorry. Um... Okay, what other new things did I get? I guess I'll wait a second. I'll do foundation, I'll come back. Those are the new things. Guys, literally, F me. I just got foundation splatters on my dress. So, I guess it's from my stippling brush. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely terrible. Oh. I'm just gonna do my makeup then try to get it out. Is that a bad idea? I don't know. Uh. Okay, so I think I'm gonna be able to wash it off with like a makeup wipe because this is like really interesting material. Um, I also need to blend my bronzer to my neck because um, I like scrubbed all my spray tan off and uh, so now I'm really pale and I just, you make it work, okay? I always blend to the neck, don't you guys worry, but yeah, um, okay, so Obviously, this isn't a new concealer. It's the Maybelline Inst Instant Age Rewind Concealer. But, as you guys saw in my video with Kelly, I'm actually going to add a little NARS Creamy Concealer to the sides. Um, she was, like, setting just, like, the important parts of her face with powder with this cute little brush. And I was like, that's perfect so you don't, like use powder everywhere and then you can still use cream so i got this little charlotte tilbury like micro setting powder it's so cute it looks like an eyeshadow and then i got this concealer brush from the sephora collection and i'm just setting wow i feel like a makeup artist right now i got it in the color fair i think which is yeah the lightest one because i hate when like i use a little too dark and then your under eyes like have a little dark cast and you're like wait what so I, if I remember correctly, she like used it, I don't know, I gotta watch the video again. She like used it here in the T-zone and then mainly under her eyes to like set. I don't really know if that did anything, but it feels like it did. I think I just have dark circle six. I'm really tired today. Um, okay, that's all for now. Okay, I just did bronzer. This is what I'm really excited about. So Kelly, my makeup guru, always talks about this Dior blush and it really looks like this color. 
but every time I go to Sephora, it's sold out. And so I saw this House Labs blush, and it looks very similar to the color she always shows. And I text her, I go, have you ever tried this? She goes, no, but can you buy me one? I'll Venmo you, like, I want to try it. So I bought her one, so I'm going to get, I'm seeing her tomorrow. Um, but I was like, that is so funny. So we're going to try it out all together. I don't have, like, wait, well, I want to do cream blush first. So actually, I bought this brush at Sephora today. I don't have a good cream blush brush. This is like a rare beauty. Just so it's good to like, <laughs> they say do like a cream and then a powder blush over top. This one's like not really bright. It's called like nearly mauve. I love it. I do love it. All right, this blush is literally so gorgeous. It's so bright. So I'm assuming it's pretty potent. Okay, that was pretty anticlimactic. We'll do a little more. <gasps> Oh, it's so pretty. I don't have the makeup artist like hand though. Like I never know like how light or how. Okay, I do adore this though. It gives such a beautiful bright pop. I feel like my bronzer just like got removed from this brush though. I don't know why makeup's just not makeuping on me lately and it's really annoying. Like what is going on? Okay, I should stop adding more of this because it's getting a lot. But it is very pretty. I just added too much. Oh my gosh, I can tell on the camera. Um, my little bronzer brush that I used to blend my neck will just, you know, do you ever do this? You're just like, what can I do now? <laughs> How can I save myself? <sighs> I'm like, do I need to like pop some bronzer back over top? I don't even know anymore. I think it looks good. It's because I'm not as like tan right now too. Right? <laughs> Me justifying everything. Is that all the products I bought today? Yeah. Well, all the products I'm gonna use. I bought glow screen in like the lighter color today. Yeah, like the normal glow screen, not the like golden hour one because I wanted more of that. Cause sometimes the dark one's like too intense. Okay, now I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and I'll check in with you guys after. I'm just gonna do like the other normal stuff that I usually do, but I wanted to try out those products with you guys. Okay, makeup's done. I'm really happy with how my eyes turned out. I used the Tartlet palette. This is the Tartlet in Bloom. I don't know if there's multiple Tartlets. And then this Boundless Bisque nude eyeliner on the waterline I think really opens up my eyes. So now I'm just gonna go touch up my hair. Um, Hopefully I just have to brush it and then figure out how to get the foundation out of my dress because that's really unfortunate. That's why I usually don't get ready in the clothes, but when it's a higher neck, I like to. Okay, okay. All right, and just like that, we are dressed and out the door. The dress isn't completely ruined. I'm really happy about that. This dress is so cute. It's from Revolve. It's from one of my favorite brands. It's one of the less expensive but still expensive items on Revolve, if that makes sense. It's um, I really like this brand a lot. I have this dress in a totally other color. I love the open back. You guys know I love it. Whoop, no, I love a midi dress. Shoes are Vince Camuto, and then bag is Bottega. I'm gonna go no jacket, you guys. So, wait, oh yeah. I was like, did I even tell you guys where I was going? Yes, let's go eat some dinner and see some people. Yes. Brooke's trying to get the shot. <laughs> I'm so bad at it, and yet. You guys, I'm already thriving. I love a dinner roll, and I love a department store restaurant. So I'm very excited. Dinner and a show. <laughs> wow. It's so exciting.
happy Wednesday, you guys. I am very gals on the go out. I just took a shower, got up for my workout, I broke my nail, so I went to go fix that. Um, it's a very busy day, I'm like very, I'm actually not anxious, I'm more so just like, whoa, there's a lot to be done today, and it's a little bit of everything, like a lot of computer work, I have calls, in between calls I'm gonna like pack for Cabo, which is a great thing to pack for, and I'm so excited, um, and I wanted to make sure I got my workout in today, so I moved my workout to a little bit earlier in the day with Jane, because it um, it just allowed me to start my day <laughs> more faster. Um, but I just got off the call with my accountant. I have like a, every few months I have like a 20 minute call with her where I, she's so busy. She's so smart where I ask her like all these questions. Like just want to make sure I'm, cause I'm, I'm really proud of myself. I save a lot of my money, believe it or not. And working on like right now I have a certain retirement account, but I might switch to a different one and just kind of going through it all and we also talked about which is like so crazy i feel like i'm still 12 years old but like also sorry my skin's like dry i don't want to put lotion on because i'm getting a spray tan later we were talking about like my short-term goals like for saving money purposes like probably in the next five years i'd say i want to buy a house of some sort or i mean maybe i'd move to apartment again like when i move from new york one day which is not anytime soon but I don't know, I was just talking about like saving a house and like if I should have like a separate account for that, but then we're like, oh no, but I have this here. Like, it was a good call, so, um, and I love it. She, she's quick, 20 minutes. She's like, let's just get it all in. Do you have any questions for me? I have questions for you. It's it's truly fabulous. Um, oh my gosh, I always get this if I like lean like this. I get like a spot in my head. But yeah, so I have another call at one with a brand I'm working with. And then, which I, this call was a phone call, so I was like, I can be in my robe, headband, whatever, but I think the other one's video, I have to double check with my manager on that. But right now, I'm gonna play some music and start packing for Cabo. It's been lovely though, because the last few weeks, honestly, the last like month or two, I've been so excited about this trip. I have a chair in my closet of all the clothes I've ordered or just pulled aside to bring to Cabo, even though it's a literally three night trip. I have so many outfits, but <laughs> too many, so I don't really know how that's gonna happen, but. So it's easy. I have everything I want to put in the suitcase. I just have to like pack my carry-on bag and we're going international. It's like a six hour flight. So I want to bring like my eye mask, my neck pillow, all the goods, all the things. So that's what's going on today. And then later, getting spray tan, then I'm going to dinner, which this part is probably a little unnecessary, but I need to eat dinner, right? Um, I'm going to dinner with Cass Kelly, Taylor Fitzgerald, who's another makeup artist here in New York, Mitchell, who's a hairstylist, and then another girl named Alex, I believe. We're going to American Bar because we're all going to Serena Kerrigan's live show tonight at Gramercy Theater. I'm so excited because that's where Brooke and I did our show, and I love supporting other people, and I didn't get to go to her show last year, and I just, I don't know, I she's, she's amazing. Like, she memorized an 18-page script. I work out with her, like, weekly. Like, we go to the same classes, so I see her going through the pressures, like I gotta go to rehearsal, whatever, and I just think it's so admirable, so I wanted to be sure to support. So she has a show tonight and tomorrow night, so I was like, okay, I'll go tonight, but then I'm like, oh my gosh, I leave tomorrow morning. So my day is just kind of like cut in half, you know? But yeah, the dinner's probably unnecessary, but they're all going to the show too, and, and I need to eat, so I don't know. I'll be in a spray tan, I don't even know what to wear, and she was like, the theme is SFK, which is like her, um, Serena fucking Kerrigan is like her brand, if you guys don't know who she is. Um, and so I don't really know what that means. I mean, I know like her style. It's very like bold, edgy, fun, chic. But I also have a spray tan, so we need to figure that out. I also don't want to put on makeup, but I feel like I should. So yeah, that's my ramble of the day. All right, that got me out of my ropes. That was good. I mean, I put on a sweatsuit. Like, I'm so drama. Um, it was such a great call. I, I actually love taking calls. Like, if I'm doing a campaign with a brand, I get excited when they ask to hop on the phone because it makes it way more personal. So it's like... Like I just met Madison and Josiah. So now I know like when I'm making the content, like they're gonna see it. Whereas it's not just like this big company that I like haven't, I don't know. Like it makes it more real and cool and talk, talking through content ideas. And like, it was nice to hear that they liked what I had in mind. So I don't know. I just enjoy stuff like that. Like sometimes when I'm feeling blah, getting on a call actually brings me more energy. So yeah, those are my calls. 
We're actually crushing it. It's 1.15. Spray tan's at 4.30. So we are going to... I ended up just like sitting here and getting all my computer work done, which made way more sense. And now I'm just going to go pack, try on things. I pretty much have everything tried on, but I just want to try on a couple more like things. Um... Because I don't want to try on things with the spray tan on, you know? So, that's the goal now. I'm already showered. Oh, well, I don't know what I'm going to do for makeup because I have a spray tan. You guys don't care. All right, let's go pack. Can you believe that you're the fucking shit? Mm -hmm. That goes further than... Okay, first round of packing here. I've got all of my bathing suits and corresponding cover-ups to make it easy for myself. So I have this black bikini that I just need more colors in. It's so flattering. It's great for like if you're trying to get a tan. It's just like a triangle bikini. And then the bottoms are so flattering. I always thought thick banded bathing suit bottoms were more flattering on me, but I think I might be wrong. So I don't know. So I love this bathing suit. And then I have this beautiful skirt cover up from Pat Bow. And then I have this black Princess Polly cover up that I'm bringing as well because it looks so cute over a black bathing suit. And then obviously I have to bring my hat. I guess I'm going to bring it on the plane. <laughs> This skim set is amazing. It's a skims bikini with a <laughs> corresponding, if you know, you know, from the podcast, um, brown sarong skirt. So cute. Then I have this orange Frankie's bikini bathing suit, and I thought it would look really cute with this, um, like a collared button down shirt from Solid and Striped, but it, the oranges aren't perfect, but online they did, and I still think it's fine. Um, and then I could wear white pants with it. And then I love this skims bathing suit. Green with white local European pants. I feel like a hat would be really cute. And I was almost thinking, my friend um, Elizabeth helped me style that outfit, actually. She helped me style this one, too. Um, since I'll be with Margot, I could do, like, a little Sprit Society moment. Um, just to kind of bring it all together. So, yeah. I'm getting hungry. And I bought this for myself yesterday, as you guys know. So, I think I'm going to heat this up this Amy's bowl. We're going to have this for lunch. I wish there was meat in it. I do have like chicken that I could add. I don't know. I'm going to see. I feel like this will still be really good. Guys, I don't know how this looks to you, but it smells amazing. Oh, it's very hot. It smells amazing. I'm going to enjoy this. Okay. So little update here. I ate my lunch. It was good. I, this is a crazy dress. You guys just go follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn. I'm not going to like run through all of my dinner outfits, but yeah, we're just going to be by the pool all day and then at night go to dinner. So I basically just have dinner outfits, but yeah, I have one crazy dress down there and then I have all of my other dinner outfits here. I decided to go packing cubes. I feel like it's either you do them or you don't. And today I just decided we're just going to go ham and they're organized kind of. So dinner outfits, bathing suits and cover-ups. And then these are workout sets, loungewear, tank tops. And then in this one are jean, a pair of jeans, a pair of like white cargo pants, and then um, like a black flowy dress if we're just like running down to go get coffee. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not bringing any jackets last year. We definitely brought like button ups. I feel like I should probably go find a button up or like just like a white button up. I feel like that's a safe bet to always bring with you. It's so messy in here. I like don't eat. I, mm, that stresses me out. But then I think I'm good on the clothing front, which will be amazing. And then I can do shoes, accessories. Okay. I have this from Zara. It looks like it shrank. That's annoying. And then, do I have another? I think I just bought one from Zara. I feel like that's... Oh, my jerf have one. All beautifully buttoned up. All right, guys, it's a lot later. I got so much done. I'm feeling so good. Um, I just got a spray tan, too. Oh, my God, my little ponytail. <laughs> Packing is completely done. I even did a zipper check because I don't want any surprises in the morning if I try to close it and it doesn't zipper. Everything fits perfectly. I do have to say thank you to the packing cubes. It definitely helped. Um, I was just picking out my outfit to wear to Serena's show tonight at Gramercy Theater. I said that right. I think I said I was doing that tonight. Yeah. Because I have a spray tan, so I was like, I need to wear baggy clothing. But also, she, everyone I'm going with is wearing such cute stuff, so I'm struggle bussing. But I've landed on, I think, once I try it on, these good American jeans are like my go-to baggy jeans. So, like, it doesn't ruin the spray tan. This green tank from Revolve. And then this leather jacket's like my go-to. And then these black heels, maybe? I don't know. It feels kind of random, but I feel like it's going to look really good on. So, 
we're gonna have to hope and pray. But I'm going to end the vlog here because I want to start uploading the clips to get this vlog rolling. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Subscribe down below and there will be a new video very soon. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.